Andy. And I'm Pastor Eddie. Get ready for some awesome parenting tips. Coming at ya. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Disappointment is sadly an unavoidable part of life. And you probably know this. As an adult, you faced disappointment more times than you can probably count. But it's worth remembering that your kid is still learning how to manage their emotions and disappointment is a difficult one to manage. For our teens, they may be facing some major disappointments for the first time in their lives. In both cases, they need you to parent them through it. And maybe they're disappointed in themselves because they made a mistake or haven't mastered a skill that they want to develop. Maybe they're just realizing that they won't be getting the toy request or fun experience they wanted. Or get this, maybe a global pandemic means school, family vacation, and sleepovers got canceled. And maybe they've been ignored by their crush or passed up for that spot on the sport team that they really wanted to be on or rejected from their top school choice. Maybe they've just realized that they won't be getting a car or a phone or a fun experience that they wanted. And maybe for them, yeah, that global pandemic means that their big trip or dance or even their graduation got canceled. The point is this, there are a lot of reasons your kid might be experiencing disappointment these days and they need your help to build resilience. So here's what you can do. First thing is let them feel it. Don't try to distract from or alter their emotions. They need to grieve and that's okay. Offer perspective by asking, I know it hurts, but what can we learn from this? And then the third thing is share your stories of disappointment. It helps them see that they're not alone. Number four, assure them that they will be okay and that you're with them. Experiencing disappointment isn't just an inevitable part of life, it's actually an important and necessary part of adolescence. It can help your kid with the right guidance and support become a healthier, more empathetic, and more resilient teenager, and eventually an adult. Hey, thanks again. We love spending this time with you. We'll see you next month. Come <laughs> on.